What the F is going on, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Mikey Raider, coming to you with, finally, a video to start the new season of Raider Central Live. Please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, that like, that subscribe button. Consider donating or becoming a member of this channel for future and early and exclusive content. And hit the bell for notifications for when and if I go live. And hopefully we have a Raiders roundtable this weekend. It all depends on my health. But hey, the NFL season is about to arrive officially. We got fantasy football coming up. And I'm going to get some leagues going again. Um, even though I haven't been the best commissioner as of the last year or so due to whatever my struggles are. But hey, man, we're going to play fantasy football together. Maybe we'll even do a live fantasy football draft. Um, online or in person for some of the people that are local. I'll have to figure out the logistics in the next couple weeks. But um, there was an interesting article that I saw the other day that the headline kind of freaked me out and made me want to talk about it in today's video. All right, Tom to let's go is our new general manager. And apparently we're just a few weeks away from minicamp Maybe a week away. It might even be happening right now. I'm not that up to date. But basically, training camp starts, what, like in July? So maybe we're technically three weeks away from training camp. So we're very, very close to the start of the, the season officially. Um, but apparently, the, Tom Telesco and the Raiders have, according to this article... I haven't had a moment to look, but like $35 million in cap space. And I saw this article on Sunday, I believe it was. So it might have changed in the last day or two. But according to, to this article, the Raiders have $35 million in cap space. And the article said, is Tom Telesco ruining the Raiders by holding on to cap space? That might not have been the actual phrase, but it was on the MSN. You know, the whatever browser that was that popped up, you know, with the algorithm. So that got me to thinking, is he hoarding up the money? Why haven't we spent it in free agency? Have all the rookies been signed? Is every, has everybody been signed? Why do we still have $35 million? Are we holding it for a better day? Well, this is where the speculation comes in, everybody. And um, you got to remember, Mark Davis has taken a loss of close to $100 million the last couple years due to other players and Chandler Jones and coaches and everything. He's taken a loss. Even though he is rich, is he that rich? And where can you save money? Maybe Tom Telechko's budget was cheaper, hence why he only has the $35 million left. You get it? If the NFL cap space was $210 million, maybe Mark Davis said you can only spend $180. You can only spend $180 million. $30 million needs to stay on the books. That might be the payment for Josh McDaniels. That might be part of the payment for John Gruden. That might be part of the payment for, you know, um, Chandler Jones. Even though that money is already being taken off the two hundred million of the cap space. So it just got me thinking that do you guys think Mark Davis is trying to save cap space and putting Tom Telesco on a leash on a leash? for probably another $30 million. So that way Mark Davis can somehow, some way, save that $30 million and that'll pay back for all the money he spent. Just an interesting thought. I don't know how real it is. I don't know speculation. I'm not in the war room or the budget room. But again, you gotta start thinking, why did Tom Tillich go did not get some other bigger free agents. And why hasn't he signed anybody right now with the savings that we're getting? Um, people might say he's saving it for a rainy day 
or, you know, once injuries start in training camp, then he'll go out and get somebody. Yes, that could be a philosophy. But I still think that Mark Davis put him on a leash and is trying to save as much money as possible. It's not a bad thing. And I would understand if that's the truth. But I kind of think both things that I just mentioned can be true at the same time. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts on that situation. And who are the free agents that are available right now? Do we need a bigger free agent, a bigger player at a certain position that's available? You guys are more on top of it than I am. Let me know in the comments below. Is there a free agent that you guys think should come to the Raiders right now that would fit a need before training camp? Because that's what we need. We need one of these free agents to come before training camp officially starts to get them into camp early. We can't wait for injuries and then just plug and play them. We want them to learn the system. So that's why I question, why do we still have $35 million of cap space right before the start of training camp? Um, so it's an interesting question that I saw in that article. So you guys let me know, but are there any free agents that you know of that are available right now that would come in and really fit a need or give a major backup or a boost to a young player? And a lot of people would say, we need another quarterback. <laughs> uh, just pretty interesting. Or are we saving all that money to sign Devontae Adams or to have $70 million or something next year? Because, again, this might be Devontae Adams last year with the Raiders. If everything doesn't pan out, they'll get rid of him somehow or trade him or something might happen. I don't want it to. But, the, you know, then we're going to free up some cap space next year as well. And, again, we might not even have Gardner Minshew for the 20, 25 million, whatever, next year. And we could have, like, 70 million next year in cap space officially, like 80 million. Because the Chandler Jones will be off the books and some other stuff like that. So next year is going to be an interesting year where we might have a lot of money in, in, in cap space to do a lot of things. And we, we started this year by building young. We're building young again, little by little. So we, we, we got an interesting team. But let me know your thoughts on today's video topic. Let me know. If there's any other videos you would like me to cover from my perspective down below and let me know some free agents or somebody that might be available that you think you wish would be on the Raiders right now to help us out. Um, yeah, we're going to have a good season, guys. I'm going to eventually start putting in a, a daily video for this channel and a weekly podcast or roundtable or whatever in the days ahead. So don't go nowhere. Stick, stay to this channel. You're going to get some decent Raider talk, some Raider football talk. And if you guys would like to be a guest on the Raiders Roundtable or any of my shows coming up, uh, hit me up on DMs on Twitter, or I think my email might be in the description below, or become a member of the channel, and then members are always invited to my live streams. So there. I appreciate you guys. I love you. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay Raider. And I'll see you on the next video. Raiders! Please let me know your thoughts down below. I really, really, really want to see and, and, and know what you're thinking about today's subject. Later.